Hi guys, today I'm just going to do two quick tutorials. First, I'm going to um, make a Procreate brush on how to make sequins, which makes fashion illustration so much easier. And then I'm going to make um, a tutorial about how actual dress rendering with this sequin brush. First, uh, to create the brush, which is super, super easy, you do that, that you create a canvas and you choose 10 by 24 times 10 times 24 pixels, like so. And that will give you a nifty little square like that. What I did is I cheated a little bit. Um, so I already made a photo of an actual sequence and uh, it's pretty easy. You use white, black or lime green. That's the easiest. I'll just go and get it here. This is my sequence. It's not that pretty, but um, it doesn't matter because they're going to be tiny anyway. So what you do is you make this and then you save it as a PNG file. But before you do that, you take the background off because otherwise it's going to be a white square and not an actual sequence. And then you save it as a PNG file like so. So then what you do is you put back the background color, you do a new layer and I go into luminance and I choose the glitter brush, the glimmer brush that is already there. It's a custom default brush in Procreate. So you have it. Remember to duplicate it so you don't lose your actual glimmer brush. You go into source in there, you insert your photo. So you press insert on the shape source, not the grain. And you insert the sequence that you just made in lime green with no background, like so. You go into stroke and here you can adjust the spacing between your sequence. So if you want them really wide and far apart, you choose 100%. If you want an extremely compact, you go down to zero. But because sequence rendering requires a lot of layers because they have a lot of different colors in the same color or the same fabric, I like to choose around 28, 30 ish uh, percent. Then you have your brush, super easy, and you can adjust the size. This is the small one. Typically you'd use this in a fashion illustration. And there you go. Um, because it has a lot of nuances, I always kind of do opaque, then less opaque, and then I add more opaque, and then you add a little bit of white, and then you add the original color again, so it looks like it has a lot of different shadows, a lot of highlights, and a lot of lowlights. If you have any questions, let me know, subscribe, ask in the comment field. I'd love to help you guys out.